nothing catches people's attentions more than coincidences. Why are coincidences so exciting? What are the factors that make them exciting? This video will show that algorithmic information theory has some answers to these questions. Let's consider a coincidence that has been often discussed, the famous parallel between Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy's fates. Lincoln and Kennedy were born one century apart in 1808 and 1908. They were elected to the US Congress one century apart in 1846 and 1946. They were elected US president one century apart in 1860 and 1960. Both were shot in the head in the presence of their wives. Both successors were named Johnson. Both assassins were killed before being tried. Kennedy was shot in a car named Lincoln. And so on. Some websites have much longer lists. The issue here is not the objectivity of the coincidence, but rather the subjective fascination that it exerts on human minds. The fascination on certain people may go as far as making them suppose that Kennedy was a reincarnation of Lincoln. Although coincidences come with a feeling of very low probability, probability theory is of little help to decide what makes a couple of situations a coincidence. Among the thousands of features that we could come up with that were shared by Abraham Lincoln and John F. Kennedy, very few are relevant to the coincidence. Which are they? Algorithmic information has the answer. The point of coincidences is that two events, S1 and S2, have something in common that makes them together abnormally simple. Let's see how. Here, we use a version of complexity for which the chain rule applies. Let's use the chain rule to rewrite the description complexity of the two events. This means that a way to compute the complexity of S1 and S2 consists of starting with the complexity of S1 and then compute the complexity of S2 once S1 is available. The inequality comes from the fact that the two-stage computation might be suboptimal. And of course, the worst case occurs when S1 is of no use to describe S2. But if they share elements in common, the complexity of S1 and S2 considered together will be less than the sum of their complexities taken separately. Each feature that is common to the two situations has zero impact on C of S2 knowing S1. Common features include the two last digits of the election dates, 46 for election to Congress, 60 for the election as president, the murder, or the names Johnson and Lincoln. After having described Lincoln's fate, all these features are available for free and do not cost a single bit of information when it comes to describing Kennedy's fate. Okay, we understand why having common characteristics makes the two events simpler to describe as a whole. But in what way is the coincidence abnormally simple? After all, Lincoln and Kennedy both had eyes and hands, but this resemblance does not contribute to the coincidence. To understand how simplicity can be abnormal, we have to consider another form of complexity called causal complexity, or complexity in the world, CW. Causal complexity measures the role of chance in the production of a situation. In algorithmic information terms, it corresponds to the complexity of the circumstances that allowed the situation to come to existence. For any fact S that is true in the state of the world, for instance the fact that the vice president's name is Johnson, we can imagine a set of circumstances that led to that state. Causal complexity CW of S measures the size of the minimal description of these circumstances. Simplicity is abnormal when causal complexity exceeds 
description complexity. This is precisely what happens in coincidences. Let's compute the difference u between causal complexity and description complexity. For the coincidence to hold, we must suppose that Lincoln's fate and Kennedy's fate are causally independent. In complexity terms, this means that to get both events, we must add up the circumstances that led to each of them. For instance, the information required to generate the two vice presidents' names corresponds to the sum of the information needed to generate each name separately. If we take the chain rule into account, the difference u now involves four terms. Let's study the contribution of the name of the vice president, Johnson, to this difference. The name appears both in S1 and in S2. C of Johnson represents the complexity of describing that name among other names. CW of Johnson represents the complexity of the circumstances that led the US vice president to carry this name. Any reasonable computation will lead to the conclusion that both complexities are roughly equal. This equality agrees with the fact that there is nothing abnormal with the US vice president's name being Johnson. We can see that this common complexity is counted twice on the positive side of U, but only once on the negative side, since the name Johnson is already available from S1 when it comes to describing S2. So, the name Johnson contributes by its full complexity to the abnormal simplicity of the coincidence. This is true of any element that the two situations have in common for independent reasons. The last digits of the election years, 46 and 60, and even the name Lincoln, which is reused to designate Kennedy's car. In conclusion, Impressive coincidences turn out to be abnormally simple, as they involve shared characteristics that result from complex circumstances.